Hey everybody, I am happy and excited that you decided to stop by the site today. Uh, I've got really an extraordinary, extraordinary message to share with you. I, I'm not trying to be melodramatic, but it really fundamentally could be one of the most profound things you've learned and heard. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Mike Woods. Uh, I am an entrepreneur and a businessman here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I am not a doctor. I do not come from a medical background. But I've always been fascinated by how the body works. I've been fascinated by medicine. I've been fascinated by uh, different alternatives so that we could pursue more optimum health. Let me tell you about my, uh, my medical history. Um, I do not have good genes when it comes to heart health. Uh, in fact, my grandfather on my mother's side died when he was 43 years old. He dropped dead of a fatal heart attack. Uh, my grandfather on my father's side died when he was 72. Uh, that was his third and obviously fatal final heart attack. Uh, all through my family, there is high blood pressure and cardiovascular disease and elevated cholesterol. Um, there are stents, uh, it's just not good. About 25 years ago, I went to a cutting edge clinic in California and had a complete DNA assessment. And one of the things they discovered was that I have what's called an IL-1 gene. It's an interleukin gene. And it means my body is wired to be chronically inflamed and genetically predisposed. And if you've studied anything about the modern literature right now, chronic inflammation is really, really not good for our bodies. Well, my body is wired in my DNA to be chronically inflamed. Well, when I learned that, I did the lifestyle changes. I, I started implementing what everybody was talking about you need to implement for, for good health. Um, I started eating a diet that was rich in fruits and vegetables, and uh, I started taking uh, organically sourced, really high quality multivitamins and, and minerals and supplements. I started taking coenzyme Q10, I took omega-3 fish oils, I took garlic supplements. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I took a really, really passionate and dedicated uh, approach on exercise and getting to the gym and working out really, really hard. And all with the hopes of, of just staving off uh, heart disease and having a robust, healthy life. Well, I've always dealt with elevated cholesterol. Not crazy, not off the charts, but elevated. And my doctors had multiple conversations with me about it and I've had conversations with him. And I said, look, I'm not really that concerned my, about my cholesterol levels because I've done the research. I'm interested in health. And I've read the, the reports that say half the people that have heart attacks have elevated cholesterol and half the people that have heart attacks have normal cholesterol. Well, what can we learn from that? <laughs> not much, that obviously it's not just cholesterol. So um, I've always kind of been curious because again, my concern wasn't cholesterol. My concern was heart health. Do I have plaque buildup? Do I have arterial sclerosis? Um, is there a buildup in my heart? And I wasn't aware of anything I could do to find out the, sta the status of my heart uh, outside of you know sending a camera up the femoral artery. And you know, I really wasn't interested in doing that. Then I heard of a thing called a coronary artery calcium scan. It's a very simple procedure. It's very inexpensive. It takes realistically 20 to 30 seconds. And they just do a CAT scan of your heart. They take multiple images of your heart. And what they're looking for is calcium buildup. I mean, you know, when you think in terms of hardening of the arteries, that's calcification of the arteries. And uh, I was excited to take that test. I was excited to see how well I was doing. And let's just say I was kind of disappointed with the results. And the results were... I had coronary artery disease. Um, I was 56 when I took the test. Um, uh, co coincidentally, I had a CAC score, coronary artery calcium score of 56, which meant I had the heart arteries of a 70 year old man. And I'm thinking to myself, gosh, I, I bust my butt at the gym. I, you know, I eat right, I do the right things, I take the right supplements, and I have the heart of a 70 year old man. And I, you know, I don't mind sharing with you, I was kind of depressed. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not a quitter, and a bad report is not a final report. And I've always been fascinated by health, and I've read, I mean, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different studies on different things on how the body works and alternative treatments, and I came up with protocol. Now, I don't want to brag and say like I'm some sort of genius that I discovered these things. 
I didn't. I read studies that other scientists and, and medical professionals had performed, but the advantage I had was I was kind of at a 10,000 foot view and I could pick and choose different studies and different things in those studies that appeared to really make a difference in arterial health. And I put together a protocol. And it was my hope that that would in fact help my arterial sclerosis. Well, uh, my initial goal was I would do this protocol for a year and take another coronary artery calcium scan. Well, COVID hit and it kind of delayed that. So it was about 18, maybe 20 months later, I finally went back and had another coronary artery calcium scan. In fact, that was at the prompting of my doctor. You know, he's looking at my cholesterol numbers and he said, Mike, go get a coronary artery calcium scan so at least we can know whether your heart is healthy or not. And he told me later, he fully expected me to have a fairly significant score because of my, my cholesterol levels. Well, the next day he contacted me and he said, Mike, your coronary artery calcium score is perfect. It's perfect. You have a score of zero. You have no calcification in your arteries and no arterial sclerosis. Well, I then informed him of the previous test I had done. I sent him those, those tests and he compared the two and he came back and he used the word miracle. He said, Mike, I've never seen this in my entire practice of over 25 years. I've never seen anybody dissolve heart black before. He took those results to a lead, leading cardiologist here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area at a very, very large teaching hospital. And that cardiologist said he'd never, in 30 years as a cardiologist, he'd never seen anybody completely dissolve arterial plaques. Yet that is exactly what happened to me. So what is the purpose of this site? The purpose of this site is to give you this information, is to make you aware of this. I will break down the protocol step by step by step. There are four simple components. They are all natural. They are not drugs. Uh, I will tell you exactly how I did it. And then if you choose, we will now make those supplements available to you. And you can start on the protocol if you so desire. Now, maybe you're the type of person you say, Mike, this is really interesting, but I'm young. I, I don't have heart disease. I don't have arterial sclerosis. Or you've, maybe you've had a coronary artery calcium scan and your scan is zero. Good for you. That's wonderful. God bless you. But heart disease is the number one killer of people in the world. And statistically speaking, there is someone in your life, a family member, a friend, a coworker, someone you know who is struggling with heart disease. And this is what I would suggest. Pass this information on to them because it really, truly could be the most, some of the most significant, important information they will ever get in their life. Now, I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose disease. I can't prevent or cure or treat disease. But I can absolutely share with you what happened to me. And the simple fact of the matter is, I used to have heart disease, and now I don't. And it is my hope and my goal to get this information out to millions and millions of people so that they can have the knowledge. And if they choose to move on that knowledge, that's up to them. But I'm not going to hold it to myself, and I'm not going to keep it under a, under a basket. I'm going to make this knowledge available to people. And if those people are, are so inclined, then they can actually start the protocol. And we have all the supplements we've contracted out to have them uh, manufactured for us, a cutting edge facility, and a, a really, truly inexpensive way. And we want to pass that on to you.